friends and welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Julia and uh, for today I have a really exciting video to share with you. I don't do this kind of videos every month because I feel that not all the time I have products exciting that I have exciting products that I want to talk about them. And I don't want to make this video just for the sake of doing it. But every now and again I discover some products that really excite me and from this reason I want to share them with you. It happened that I filmed this video in the end of the May, today is 31st, so yeah, I can say that it's the May favorite, but I will probably name it mostly like current favorite, because those are the products that I mostly used and loved on April and May months. And I don't have so many products, but the products that I have I really love and enjoyed. I also have a perfume, I have a non-beauty item, and I also have a product that I cannot say is bad, but it is a disappointed product. So just to take this out of our way, I will start with the disappointed product. The product that is uh, disappointing for me is this It Cosmetics Dual Ended Brush. Is it called Heavenly Lux Complexion Perfection number 7? In one side you have your foundation uh, bristles and on the other end you have the concealer bristles. Now, I cannot use this foundation brush to apply the foundation because the brush it is not dense by any means and it's sucking up all the product. If I'm using a liquidy foundation, then the foundation will go toward the bristles till the head of the barrel. So then I take a lot of time to wash it and I don't mention that I also am wasting my product. So I cannot use this brush for the liquid foundation and also for the creamy foundation, I find that it leaves me some strikes, some traces, which I'm not really fond of, so I need all the time to ensure that my uh, foundation is blended perfectly. And also even the concealer part, I cannot say that I'm really big fan of, because it's not blending perfectly the concealer. I mostly prefer to tap it with my finger and then to use the beauty blender. But all the people on the YouTube were raving about this brush and I thought it's really amazing but so far for me is not. It's not a bad brush but I don't know what for to use it because it's not really used for foundation and I'll show you as a comparison this is Sima F80 and look how dense packed is this brush you are able to buff your foundation and the foundation is not going. Of course, it will also go through your bristles, but not so much quantity. You will not lose so much quantity and the foundation it never reaches this side part from uh, the bottom. So yeah, this is for me a good foundation brush and this is not meant to be for foundation. I need to find some other usage for this brush. Maybe I will try for contour. I didn't try it so far to use the, a creamy contour or a powder contour, but yeah, for me this is a huge disappointing and it was really pricey. I bought it from Cult Beauty, I had a recent haul uh, in April I think and yeah, there I was featuring this brush. It's really soft, it's good as a quality, I have nothing to complain about this, but this is not a foundation brush from my point of view. Now that we uh, took out the negativity from our side, let's start with the product that I really, really love. And I don't have a eyeshadow palette that I can say I use it most, because if I'm using one eyeshadow palette once or two times in two months, then I cannot name that eyeshadow palette favorite, even though I like it. And I have a face palette instead that I really really love. Maybe you have seen it on my uh, previous videos, it's sitting on my vanity, uh, it has uh, its own place on this <laughs> room and yeah, since I bought it I feel that I really love it and use it. And this is the Hourglass Ambient Light Edit Volume 4 Face Palette. 
So those are the shades. You have here your two you have here your two setting powders is dim light and diffuse light. Then you have your strobing powder, you have a bronzer and two blushes. I have a separate review for this palette and I will uh, say that it worth every penny that I paid for it because I'm really getting a lot of use out of this palette. I also use it to do my makeup on the days when I don't need to have such a intense makeup. And if I need just to have a quick definition on my eyes, I will just throw the bronzer on my crease, the strobing powder, I will put it on the uh, lid and I'm good to go. Mascara, some eyeliner if I want it, I'm good to go. So it's a really versatile palette. I was speaking that I have a disappointing brush. Now I have a brush that it really excites me. And this is the e.l.f. Pointed Powder Brush. This brush, I feature it also on my eye help hole. And since I started to use it, I cannot put it down. Yesterday I wash it to have it clean to show you here today. But it is all the time dirty because I'm using it to set my foundation with the powder. Also I'm using it for my under eye area and I love it that it's so soft. And with the loose powder it picks the right amount of the powder that you need to not cake up your face too much. And also for the under eye area it does a good job. So it, I was using a brush for my under eye area and another brush for the face. But sometimes I just keep that uh, step if I'm on the hurry and I'm just using this brush for setting my entire face and I really love it. It's really cheap. I think it was around 5-6 bucks. I don't recall. So really really good brush. Affordable. Recommended. No doubt. And speaking about setting powder. I think you might have seen this product in most of my makeup tutorials because I'm using this powder exclusively on my under eye area. This is the Bytheri Hyaluronic Hydra Powder and as you can tell I almost use it up. I have it from September, October 2018 and this has a shelf life of 6 months. However, it's just a powder and I don't sense any bad smell and I'm using it only on, to set my under eye area. And when I'm using this brush I see, and when I'm using this powder, I see the difference because if I use any other setting powder, my... This was a foam. Okay, when I'm using any other powder, I see immediately that my under eye area, it doesn't look the same. Because even if I use my favorite concealer by Catrice, the camouflage concealer, I need to set it with a powder, otherwise it will crease. So when I'm using that concealer and I set it with this powder, I'm good to go for the rest of the day. I don't have any creasing, any product that it will uh, drag or disappear or cake up, nothing like that. But if I use some other... And also what it does, it blurs your fine lines. So if you have more texture underneath your eyes, this is also good for that part of the eyes. Of course I use it today and almost every single day. I find that I, I get similar results when I'm using this powder from the Ambient Edit palette, but it's not that good. Not with Catrice, but with other concealer. By the end of the day, I see that mm, the product is starting to, to run, to slip from my under eye area. But it's not happening uh, the same thing if I'm using this powder. I don't know, I'm thinking to repurchase. I don't use it to set my face. One, because it's small and a big brush doesn't fit well in this area. It's, it's not that big. And also it's really expensive and has a really short 
shelf life. So I don't feel that I will spend 40, 50 bucks. I don't know exactly what the what is the price for the full size. But the um, travel size is perfect for my Android area and I'm thinking to repurchase in case that I will not find a similar product that it will perform exactly as it performed this one. Next product that I want to share with you, it is a foundation. And I found my holy grail foundation. And this is the Catrice HD Liquid Radiance Foundation. I just uploaded my review of this foundation so I will link that video down below in case you haven't seen it but this is basically everything I'm searching for a foundation first the shade is matching me perfectly and even it has a subtle glow as it's in name the radiance it lasts on my face all day and what it's interesting about this foundation is the fact that it is not working with any primer excepting the blurring primer I'm wearing today a blurring primer underneath but I don't need any other mattifying or hydrating primer because I, I was using it with another primer that I will speak in a minute and it doesn't have this, uh, the same behavior like it has on its own and as I mentioned on my review this product it is infused with glycerin which is a really hydrating product and for my skin I have noticed that if I'm using a good hydrating product doesn't matter if it's prime or cream or foundation I am not getting so greasy so oily by the end of the day so I'm really loving this foundation I will not go too deep on the details if you want to hear more about this foundation check the review because I'm speaking about the primer I want to give it a shout out to this primer that I got in my April cohorted beauty box. It is by Figs and Rouge and is it called Soft Focus Pore Perfecting HD Plus Matte, Matte Veil Primer. But this uh, primer doesn't have so much on controlling on controlling the oil probably because uh, as I told you before my face is working better with more hydrating products but what I like about it is the fact that it gives such a nice canvas to apply your foundation that everything on uh, sits better on the top of this primer it's not silicone but it's it's kind of hydrating and gives you as I, I as I said a nice surface a nice surface, a nice canvas to work your foundation. So really, really happy that I got this product on my cohort and I didn't have to pay the full price because it's quite pricey. You get here one ounce and I think the price is around 25 pounds. So in US dollars, probably 30 bucks. It can be purchased from philunic.com, which also ships worldwide and I think and I think they ship for free over 25 euros. So if you are interested, I will link it down below where from you can purchase this product. But I'm really loving and enjoying it. I have a mascara. This is a old favorite, but I recently opened a new tube of it. So this is the Maybelline Less Sensational Mascara Lash Multiplying Mascara and has this curve type of a wand. I'm wearing it today, of course, and I love the fact that first it curls my lashes more than other mascaras, almost, because I have another favorite mascara, but I cannot speak about it right now, and last on my lashes all day, some mascara give me some sensation by the end of the day that I have something on my eyes. This is not the case with this mascara. It wears perfectly, doesn't smudge underneath my eyes and also it's not so difficult to remove it. You don't need a waterproof remover. I'm loving this product and yeah this is my third or, or fourth tube and I'm looking forward because here in Czech Republic on the end of the summer, maybe September, October, we have in one of our drugstores uh, a week where they have a promotion like all the makeup products are 50% off so I'm looking forward to stock up now I have one lipstick that I heard Lisa J also mentioning in one of her favorite videos and if you don't know Lisa J yeah she's also one of my favorite youtubers and I will link her channel down below she was working for MAC in the past and she's amazing she gives you a lot of 
tips and tricks for your makeup. But yeah, she was uh, wearing and speaking about a lipstick in her favorite. And I'm usually not the person that wears a pink lipstick just because I feel that very bright pink doesn't work with my complexion. But this lipstick, it's something that I'm loving since I purchased it. I bought mine from lookfantastic.com. So it's by Bare Minerals in the shade Tears. <laughs> I wanted to purchase from Sephora and I was surprised that Bare Minerals is no longer available on Sephora Czech Republic. So I ordered mine from lookfantastic.com. I'm wearing it today and I was pairing it with a Urban Decay lip liner. I think it was Lady Flower. It's not really long lasting, but I'm really loving it. And for this time of the year, for the spring, summer, I think it's perfect. I highly recommend if you're looking for a good pink lipstick that is not really pink because it's something between pink and peach. And another lipstick that I got in my first cohorted beauty box. This was the gift product they gave. It is by Ila Masca, their anti-matter lipstick in the shade Bang. And this is my everyday kind of nude lipstick. Doesn't have any scent. Also, it's really creamy and is lasting a lot on your lips. And I will just make a comparison on swatches because on the close-up I didn't do that. So up you have the Ila Masca lipstick and down it is the Bare Minerals. But both of them have kind of similar texture, they are really creamy, really comfortable. I have one more product that lives in my bathroom and this is the Hyaluron Micellar Lotion by Dermacol. Dermacol is a Czech brand but I have seen that it's also available in the uh, US. I think even Tati uh, at some point, maybe one or two years ago, was speaking about this brand, but now it's somehow it's available internationally. I think they have been bought by, by another bigger company, so they are not so national like they used to be in the past. I'm not such a big fan of Dermacol brand just because they are still using parabens on their products. But this product doesn't have parabens, I was checking it and I bought it just because I was running out of my micellar water and I was needing a micellar lotion just to clean up my makeup or my face when I'm not wearing so much makeup because usually I have a cleansing balm and I love to melt my makeup and to wash it then to double cleanse again with a cleanser. But this I want to say guys that doesn't have any oil, so it's not dual face, it's just normal micellar water, it is able to remove <laughs> even the waterproof mascara. So really good. It is similar with the Bioderma, just the price it's like four times less. Because I find mine on a promotion, I have it from two or three weeks, I post my uh, photo on Instagram when I bought it and I already use up a big, not a big, but a significant part of it. I'm not using it every day and sometimes I use it in the morning if I don't want to wash my face I'll just take a cotton pad and I will just clean my face from the skincare that I use in the morning and I like that because it diffuses with hyaluron doesn't strip your moisture from your face so it's really good for this point of view, from this point of view it's really good and now for sure I don't think so that I will uh, repurchase the I'm not sure if I will purchase the Bioderma because I had just a small size years ago and maybe I will buy another small size just to have it for travel from Bioderma but for day to day use this is really good now I have a perfume and this is my favorite spring summer perfume it is by Hugo Boss and it's called Woman. This perfume, I believe I bought it last year or maybe two years ago. I have here 90 ml. I have used almost half. And it's not my usual type of a perfume. I cannot describe it. It's a bit fresh, but I have, I have found the notes. The opening scent of this trendy perfume is a blend of fruity notes, tangerine and mango, and Kumquat. 
I don't know what is this. At its heart, Frisia Oris passive floor, while the base is warm from the blend sandal and cedar wood. Both woman was launched in 2000 year, so it's it has almost 20 years. It is not that long lasting, and I really love this kind of perfume for summer because yeah, on summer. I anyway I fresh up a few times a day and I, then I apply a perfume so I don't need a perfume that it will last all day on me but yeah I'm really loving this perfume and I will continue to use it now I have my non beauty product but I need to bring it because I couldn't keep it here for the duration that I was filming this video okay last time I show you a non-beauty item which was a coffee but now because the summer started my favorite product for this moment and it is an ice cream so this is by Hagen Das and this is the pralines and cream ice cream so this I will be <laughs> capable to eat one jar just like this uh, I think this is new. I, I didn't open it yet just because if I open it then my husband will also help to finish. But I'm mostly... yeah, he's not open. I will just... It looks like this. It has, an, it has a vanilla base. Nothing special on this. But the actual pralines, there are macadamia... no, there are pecan nuts. And they are coated in a really nice caramel glazur and they are so tasty and that coat is made is, is not so soft is not so hard it's perfect it's a bit crunchy and I'm really loving it it's not very cheap it's one of the top expensive um, ice creams here in Czech Republic this brand is available worldwide I think they are Dutch if I'm not wrong I will check, I'm not sure where from is this brand. They have uh, several flavors. They have blueberries, strawberries, they have cheesecake. My husband loves the blueberries. They have simple vanilla, they have macadamia, brittle. But from all the shades, <laughs> no shades, from all the, the flavors they have, I'm loving it, this. I'm loving these pralines and cream. And all the time when there is a promotion, I buy like four or five just to have it for a long time and enjoy it. And of course my kids will also love this ice cream, so it's a favorite, it's a favorite family ice cream. So I'm really loving it and I will enjoy it during this summer. Because in the winter I, I have so many throat issues that I, I have it in the refrigerator but I don't get the chance to eat. But now I feel well, I hope I will not get sick to be able to enjoy the ice cream during all summer because yeah finally it's summer this is the first day when the weather is nice we also had few nice days including past weekend uh, two weeks ago but during the week the temperature will low to the 14 15 celsius degrees we had e even nine like two weeks ago but I have seen that now the weather will warm up and it will not go down. And it's normal because for God's sake it's almost... It is June already. Okay, so those were all my favorites for the month of May and April. Or if you can name it like this, those are my currently favorite products. I hope you'll subscribe before you leave. I do hear... Um, products reviews, unboxings and makeup tutorials and from time to time like I did today I also speak about my favorite products so if you are not subscribed don't lose your time and do it now and share it with your friends and also I will link my social in case you want to follow me thank you so much for taking the time to watch now I will go to <laughs> open the ice cream because I already starting to draw <laughs> yeah so see you in my next video